Hi everyone, this is Chris Tracy and we are bringing one of our interviews. Um, I am right now at Bethel Church in Redding, California at the School of Creativity and I'm with my friend Pam Spinozzi who uh, teaches here in the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry. She teaches writing, a writing track. She also has a master's degree in English. She helped to launch the Bethel Writers Conferences. She is a children's book author and she's got several books already published. We are just so uh, thankful and delighted to offer to present her to you. She has an amazing anointing to help authors launch and polish their writing. So here we go. Thanks, Pam. Okay. Thank you, Chris. I have a few pointers for you. Uh, she asked me to talk to you about getting started with writing. So first of all, um, I would say don't feel like you have to start at the beginning. Maybe you have this great idea, but the part that, that's really grabbing you right now is chapter two or chapter five, or you don't even know what order the chapters are gonna be. Just get started with the one that's really drawing you, and later you can fill in the other parts or move things around. Number two is, if you're an external processor, start your writing project by telling somebody what you're going to write and tape yourself doing it. That might really help you jumpstart your writing and then you'll see that you've already started and it'll be easy. Number three, jot down your ideas and take them seriously. Sometimes the best ideas come at weird times like when you're jogging or stuck in traffic or not expecting them at all. And um, it's good to keep an idea file. Maybe you don't have the whole idea now, but you might need it later. So keep track of it. Number four, write a lot. It's never a waste of time to write. Don't expect everything that you write to be amazing. It might be not that great that day, but it wasn't a waste of time because you wrote. And it's also um, good to know that not everything you write should be meant for publication. Maybe it was meant for you. Maybe it was meant for the Lord. Write some things that are just for Him. It's like an offering. Um, number five, uh, when you get an idea, try it on, try different genres on it. Maybe um, you thought you were going to write a short story, but it would be better as an essay or even a song. So just try different things and see what works best for that idea. Six, don't just think books. Not everybody needs to write a book. Maybe you're supposed to write an article. And sometimes people, more people will read that article than would ever pick up the book. So write a blog, write a chicken soup for the soul entry. Uh, you know, write at someone else's blog. Just write, <laughs> okay? Um, seven, If know how long your, your idea is. If you only have a chapter length idea, don't try to stretch, stretch it into a full book. It's kind of like when people water down the soap. It's not so great. Eight, read all kinds of things, but mostly read the kind of stuff that you want to write and read good authors. It will help your writing. Nine, write a lot and make time for your writing. Tomorrow never comes. You will never have time to write unless you make the time. And 10, don't be like Pilate who said, what I have written, I have written. <laughs> Instead, be willing to revise and even throw away some of the things that you've written. Because I always say, only one person wrote in tables of stone what words that can never be altered. Everyone else must revise. Thanks.